Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It is BarnBeef18 here and before this video gets started, I just wanted to show you guys the Profit Cyberpunk gear set. Um, but anyway, in this video, I will be teaching you guys how you guys can get it pretty quick um, from my point of view and everything. But I'm not going to be using this character gear set. I'm actually going to be using the Reapers because like I said, I'm trying to work on his gear set and everything so I can go ahead and make the junkyard class or whatever whatever goes on and everything actually I'm yeah I'm probably gonna get that done then get the ripper and stuff yeah cuz I still got a little ways to go with him so yeah I'll get go ahead and get that reaper done and so just because I just want to go ahead and start on this hero series that will be coming out soon so yeah guys, um, that's pretty much it for this video, um, or not for this video, for this little intro. But Yo, what is going on guys, Barn Beef 18 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys and girls can get the Cyberpunk gear set. Now trust me, the Cyberpunk is pretty stinking hard myself. Um, the glitch kills was probably the hardest I have ever done, but the Tempest kills, I got them pretty stinking quick. I think the Tempest kills, all you have to do is get three rapid kills and just get three rapid kills with the, I think the Tempest, yeah, the Tempest, I think it's three rapid kills, and I got them so quick, like I got them like in one game. So, the Tempest kills ain't hard. It's the glitch kills that got me. All, it's so time consuming. Like, it only takes two times. Like, it, you only need to do it twice. Get two kills shortly after using glitch twice. So, the first one, I was using the Fury Song. I picked it up off of somebody and I got it. And then it's took me pretty much almost 24 hours to get the second one. I've been on this grind to get this one stupid rapid kill for the glitch but it's out now I finally got it and I'm finally relieved I don't have to use some texts and crap like that but I've looked at previous methods of how you guys can actually get uh, the medals and or not the medals but the challenge done like I've looked it up and people say play some hard point or play hardcore search and or not search but domination and grab two Simtexes and just throw them on the flag or in the hard point and then glitch backwards. I have not got a kill from either one of that, those tips at all. I just simply just glitched. Like, if I see two people, I simply just glitched back and I just automatically just kill them. I mean, it was so much easier than trying to sit here and wait for two guys to rush into a hard point, sim text them, more than likely to get a hit marker because half the people in the freaking game all of a sudden are starting to use flat jacket. Then, just see two people, glitch backwards, and boom, you get a kill. So, I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, well, I'm going to try to do my method. So I used my method and I got it done. Um, like I said, it does take a little bit of time to do it. But like I said, eventually you'll get it. Like I wasn't even thinking about it. Like I was playing on Combine and I was using this class, this VMP class. And I was just killing away. And then I was accident I just accidentally freaking glitched. And, like, I pressed the wrong button, but I glitched into the building of Combine, and I just killed two people. Uh, and then I saw it, and I got a surprise attack, and it had the two underneath. And I was like, oh, yes, I got it. And then my Prophet headgear piece got done. So I was like, okay, sweet. But, yeah. Um, I actually thought, I was, I was actually going to give up doing this challenge because it made me rage so much. And I took a little break from it. I kind of started hanging around with my friends and playing some Star Wars Battlefront and stuff like that. I got my mind off of it a little while. Then I jumped back on here and I just got it. So I was like, okay. So once you guys... This is going to be kind of a pretty good tip. If you guys are going for a challenge and it's making you rage and it's kind of getting on your... 
bad side taking you off just get off the game and just kind of take a break from it that's a sign that you're working too hard and you just need a little break trust me uh, I was raging pretty hard you you can ask my friend tomorrow because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be live streaming tomorrow on this channel but and his channel too but I was raging pretty stinking hard because I couldn't get this challenge done and over with but like I said it, it never hurts to just take a break from the game if it's really making you mad and stuff like that it's still pretty fun I'm not gonna lie it's pretty pretty fun going for that grind but it's really stressful but um like I said my tip is if you guys are going for the glitch challenges just simply if you guys just see two people just simply glitch backwards and then just rush to them and just try to get the kill I don't think grabbing the syntax and throwing it on the hard point and doing all that extra work is just going to help it make it faster. I thought my method that I was doing was 20 times faster to get the syntax is wait until they go to the hard point or cap a flag and then throwing it on there and glitch backwards and then have a chance of pretty much not even coming close to getting it. it like I said, it's kind of frustrating, but then I did my method and I just easily easily got it so yeah um that's just my little tip and method right there and stuff like that so it's pretty cool and also i got my locust goal today too while i was doing the challenge too so that's pretty cool and i got very excited about that too so i might get my sniper's diamonds who knows but yeah like i said guys if the game, if you are going for any challenge, if it's dark matter or any challenge like that, like don't even worry about it. Like just because if it's getting you mad, just simply just get off the game or go play a different game for a little bit until you get your mind off of it. Because trust me, as soon as I was playing Star Wars Battlefront and my friends got my mind off of it, I jumped back on here and I just simply got it, no problem. I mean, I was raging a little bit, yeah, and don't don't laugh at me because of that epic fail right there I just saw. But anyways, yeah, it's it's pretty frustrating, but eventually you'll get there. You'll get it, and you'll get it in no matter of time. And I think I went 28 and 7. I don't remember what my KD was in this game, but I just know it was some. I know it was in the 20s, and I died seven times. So uh, that's a timer. That's the first timer though. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not that bad. But yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, just I just really need to share that because I have a feeling that there's a lot of people who are actually going for hero, but they can't get glitch challenges as good. So they probably need some little extra help, and I'm gonna try to give it to them though. Like I said, um, just when you see a couple people in an area, just glitch out and kill them or try to. And also, if you guys are jumping over a little hole right here, like where I'm at, oh, uh, like over a little hole or something like that where you can fall through the map and stuff like that, don't glitch in any situation like that. Even if it is, there is an enemy right there, still don't glitch it. Because once you glitch backwards, you're falling straight to your death. Because trust me, when I was playing Combine earlier today and I was glitching to get on the other side of the map, I was completely getting destroyed. I was on the A side of combat and I was wall running where uh, you can get on one side of the map and there's a big pit of death just waiting for you if you fall over. Yeah, I near I killed a guy or I was getting shot at and I glitched backwards and it glitched me back farther than, oh, sorry. It glitched me back farther than I thought it would and it completely screwed me over. I completely got effed right there. So, um, and just like I said, don't just, yeah, like right here, if I stood right there and glitched backwards, I would have fell right through that freaking map. I would have fell right through the hole because like, I don't know why. It's just every time it happens, I just die from doing that stuff. So yeah, guys, um, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys thought that this tip was any whatsoever useful at all. Um, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. You guys don't have to, but you guys don't have to. Like I, I just said that twice, but you guys really don't have to. 
But thank you guys for watching. We were almost at 100 subs. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.